Hi everyone, this is Mammal Joy, and welcome to my channel. We're having a heat wave again today. So I'm fixing up a really quick little supper for Chris and Ronnie and Lyric and I. So I'm cutting up a cabbage, and I wanted to remind you again, uh, if you want a horseradish taste in your dish that you're making or your slaw or whatever, leave the core, leave the core in there. Don't drop it on the floor. <laughs> leave it in there and it'll make it taste like horseradish. I don't leave it in there because I only like horseradish and shrimp cocktail. <laughs> so I have cut up this much cabbage already. And I'm gonna get some broth in here, but I'm gonna cut just a little bit more off of this other half of the head. Because when you cook cabbage, it cooks down. It cooks down a lot. So, we'll see what that does. And, <clears throat> I wanted to tell you and I may have already told you in another video, but I can't remember. This is Monday, and Thursday, last week, on Thursday, I went to the heart doctor, and then I went on, or Wednesday, I went to the heart doctor, and to Thursday, I went to the eye doctor. And I had the laser surgery done on my eye. And I have to tell you <laughs> that I can see so much better even though I still have to wear my reading glasses some, I can, nothing looks blurry like it was. Everything was just blurry and terrible. And I go back this Thursday and I get my left eye done. And uh, so anyway, I am so happy to be seeing better. I know in the last video that we posted, I was having to stare and look and I couldn't read and it, it's awful. But I'm so happy now and so thankful that I can see better. Now I've got some potatoes that I'm going to put in here and I've got those already peeled so all I have to do is um, dice those up some. There went my glasses. <laughs> they just came off of my chain. Sometimes I can't see out of glasses because I get them so dirty. I can't see. And I'm just, I'm sorry that I, I'm just still nervous. Of, I had a round I asked the doctor if he would take me off of the metoprol, and he said yes, he would start weaning me off. Well, I guess I was not taking enough, because yesterday uh, my blood pressure got up to 197 over 93, and my heart rate was 99, and it, it kind of scared me, because it's not normally that high. And uh, so I had to get a hold of somebody and find out what to do. And they told me. And I'm waiting. I've been waiting on a call from them since 8 o'clock this morning to find out what I'm supposed to do for tonight. If I'm supposed to take more of it or, or what. The reason I, I asked to get off of it was because it has so many bad side effects. And so does the statins, if you take any for cholesterol. They have bad side effects too, but they won't let me get off of that. So, if I can get off the metoprolol, and he said he could put me on a blood pressure medicine that would keep my blood pressure down, that don't have any side effects. Anyway, there just seems like something keeps popping up all the time. Now, the other thing that I'm going to put in here, I have, uh, I had two little sausages in the freezer, and they have cheese in them, and then I have this 
is kielbasa and this one is turkey kielbasa and if you think that there's a difference in the taste I don't and I've smelled of this sausage and I can't tell the difference in them they both have the same smell and seems like they have the same gonna have the same flavor okay so I'm going to add some water and some bouillon to the broth. The cabbage, like I said, will cook down quite a bit. So I'm going to put about two cups in, in here. And I'm not going to put a lot of salt right now because I don't, I'm, I'm not supposed to have a lot of salt, especially with my blood pressure going wacky. <laughs> I'm, I won't put the salt in until the very last if I need it. If I don't need it, I won't put any in. Also, I'm going to chop up an onion. The weather actually was really nice this morning. It was nice and cool. I sat out on the patio and I enjoyed it very much. You all have a lot of trash, I sure do. <laughs> Seems like I do. My new great grandbaby is just doing wonderful. They got to go home yesterday and Gabby was really excited about that. And baby brother was very excited. I'm going to leave these in larger pieces. Okay, I need to turn my burner on and I need to get out my beef bouillon. That's chicken, I don't want that. Did I open this nature sis? Yes, I did. I'm going to put some of this nature seasoning in. It does have a little bit of salt, so I'm not going to put a lot. And, um, okay. This doesn't really have a name. Actually, what I was going to do was make just a Reuben pot of something in flavored up like Reuben and I was going to put sauerkraut in it and the potatoes and the and uh, the uh, kielbasa but uh, Krista said Ronnie doesn't really like sauerkraut that well she loves it but so we decided to go with just cabbage and uh, she'll be able to put her vinegar on the cabbage and that's what she likes so 
anyway, that was the dish that I had in mind, was to do something related to Reuben. <laughs> Sandwiches. I was going to put, instead of the kielbasa, I was going to put some... Uh, Of luncheon meat that's that kind of meat that they put on the kielbasas which I can't think of right this second but I know that you all know what I'm talking about uh, they make it for St. Patrick's Day these are not easy to open for some reason but anyway, I've got two in there, and I'll taste, I'm going to put three. I'll taste those after they get dissolved and see if, if that's enough or not. Okay. I don't like these little cubes as well. I mean, they have a good enough flavor, but I like the powder or what's in the refrigerator better. It's just easier to get it out and get to it. I'm gonna add some more water. I think I'll add another cup, because that is not near enough liquid to get, even cook the potatoes. Like I said, the cabbage will cook down quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put four, yeah, that's much better, four cups of water in there. I'm going to slice up this kielbasa and have it all ready to go in when the cabbage gets more done. I love this and it gives uh, whatever you put in it a good, lot of good flavor. You're not seeing me again. That's my problem. I can't keep focused on everything that I need to do and I need to be ashamed of myself. I know you people want to see what I'm doing and I keep not doing what I'm supposed to do. And I like lots of, of this in there because this meat is easy to chew. It's tender. And uh, Ronnie's pretty easy to please. I'm surprised that he don't like sauerkraut. But I had an uncle that used to cook breakfast for us when we went to his house and he always made gravy and biscuits and eggs and sauerkraut and we put our sour gravy over our sauerkraut kraut. And it was so good. I wonder if anybody has ever heard of that. I was going to get some corn, some ear corn, and cut in small pieces, like two inch pieces, and put in here, but I didn't, I didn't get to the store. Chris around and picked that up for me. And <clears throat> um, I'm 
might have not had room for it in there anyway. one more piece, but I guess I didn't. Faster than I thought I was. <laughs> Faster than I thought I was. Let's see. I believe that I'll put a little bit of garlic in there. <clears throat> I, I believe I'd like to put some garlic in there. Uh, maybe I'll be able to. That was a heaping teaspoon. I'm going to rinse that spoon off and put it back in the jar and get a little bit more, not a whole lot. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna be tasting that broth to make sure that there's enough beef bouillon in there. And so we've got the onion and the cabbage in here. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and start on the potatoes because they're going to take longer to cook and the meat doesn't have to go in till right at the end because it's really cooked. It just needs to get hot. And you know what? I'm going to put the lid on here so it'll get to going better, quicker. So that way the potatoes and the meat will be ready to put in there. And I love cabbage and cabbage is really good for you. have any bread that I've made up left and I really don't want to turn the oven on because it's really really hot I could make corn cakes, but it makes it really hot in here too, to stand over the, the uh, skillet and cook it. It's This heat wave is on until Thursday evening at 8 o'clock. Thursday evening until 8 p.m. Oh, and I, can, I know that this winter it's going to get cold and I'm going to be saying, Oh, I wish it would warm up. I'm going to try not to do that. I try not to do that. Left. Just 
two. Just two more, no, three. Three, they're little. I hope they don't forget to call me back about the medicine. It's getting, getting to be close to closing time. Hope she didn't forget to tell the doctor. <sighs> so if he calls, I'll have to hop off and, and answer the phone. is all of the potatoes. You can put in there however many you want. If you think of something that you would like in there, add it and make it your own. I'm just, this is not another, this is another not recipe. No recipe. It's just something that I was going to make. And like I said, I was going to make it more corned beef is what I was trying to think of a while ago. I was going to make it taste more like a a Reuben sandwich, or not really the sandwich, but the Reuben taste with the uh, the meat and the vegetables and everything. So, okay, I've got this ready to go in and the potatoes ready to go in. I am going to taste, I might, oh, here's a second. I'm gonna taste the broth and see if it's any ways near, got enough beef bouillon in it. It's mighty hot. Nope, does not. It does not. I don't know if it tells on here. It does, but it's in such little teeny tiny writing that you can't read it. I don't think this is going to help. Nope. I just cannot read it. Just can't. I know what I could do. I could add some bacon grease. But I, the, the kielbasa may flavor it up, and, and I may have to add some salt. I'm just going to put four more, and then I'm going to put the, the lid back on it. And let it cook. And then maybe when I get the meat in there, that'll flavor it a little bit more. And I may have to add the salt. Because it won't be good without some salt in it. But I didn't want to put a lot. 
Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook. And it's three o'clock. I don't think Ronnie will be off till five, but I'll call and check with Chris to be sure. And so I will hop off for now and <laughs> I'll get back. Hopefully the doctor calls while I'm waiting for this these vegetables to cook and I'll be back. Like I said, this is very, very simple, very, very easy because I'm trying to keep, uh, keep it from getting so hot in here and have a good dish for all of us to eat. So I will be back. Okay, I went ahead and I added the potatoes so they could be cooking and the meat so it would give the potatoes and the rest of the cabbage some more flavor and it's pretty full it's pretty full so I'm gonna go take my blood pressure and wait for them to call me and uh, they've only got about an hour and a half left to give me a call I hope it's not up. I hope my blood pressure's not up. So, anyway, I'll be back when I get ready to taste it. I'll see you in a little bit. My blood pressure was really good. It was 135 over 75. My heart rate was a little high. It was 95. But I was coughing, so that might be why that it was up a little. So, I think this is done. And I've got me a little bowl here. Well, I turned it off. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to taste the cabbage. The cabbage is perfect. It's um, mm, so good. It's not too done and it's not mushy. It, it's still, it doesn't exactly have a crunch, but it has texture to it and it's really good. And it's flavored up really good. I'll taste the sausage and the potato and a little bit of cabbage. Mm. This is flavored up very good. That kielbasa has flavored this really good. I did have the potatoes peeled when I got on and I was chopping up the, the cabbage, but uh, peeling the potatoes and chopping up the cabbage and the meat was what took the longest. And I think I started this at three o'clock and it's just uh, quarter till four. This is a delicious meal, and cornbread would be so good with it. I'm just really tired. Um, I don't. I did sleep good last night, but I was really worried about my blood pressure. I don't know why. I need to quit worrying because the good Lord has blessed me too many times. He takes care of me. He's good to me. He loves me. He loves all of you, each and every one of you. He loves you because you're his child. Mm. God 
Guys, this is delicious. If I would have got some corn, I would have um, broke up some little two inch pieces and put in there. Well, I wouldn't have been there because there's not enough room, but that would have been good. Mm. And if it wasn't so hot, I would have made a pan of cornbread. Maybe you're not having hot weather. And maybe you could do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I didn't have this bowl real full. Sometimes when I taste this, then I can't eat anymore. <laughs> it's too much. Mm. So, so good. Whoops. I've got to take this over to Chris's. And forgot to turn my TV off. Anyway, I hope you try this. It's very delicious. And it's very easy. Very quick and easy. And uh, you'll like it. Just something quick to do for this hot, hot weather. Mm. So I'm going to get off for now. I thank you so much for watching. And uh, if I don't have to worry about my blood pressure tomorrow, Maybe I can get up. I got up early enough today, but it was just, I was waiting. I called them, had to call them at 8 o'clock. And then I've sat here and worried all day about why they haven't called me. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow I'll do a dessert of some kind. I'm not sure what it will be, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. And I'll see you soon.